I'm Marianne Rankin, and I'm Dean of the College of Natural Sciences at UT Austin. You take almost any scientist and ask them about their career path and why they're a scientist, and I think you'll find that there was a teacher somewhere in that person's background that inspired them to that path. I was inspired to go into science because I thought it was really fun, and I, and I thought that because I had wonderful teachers. I had great teachers in high school biology, and, and then again in college biology. In many, many, many classrooms in the United States, um, students are being taught math and science by people who don't know those disciplines. They didn't major in those disciplines. Um, they, uh, they, in many cases, didn't even minor in them. I, I don't see how you can expect a person under those circumstances to inspire a class. You can maybe keep control of the class, but you can't expect them to really inspire people. And I think that in, instead what's happening is mediocre teaching is turning people, turning students off to these disciplines. And so we're getting fewer and fewer students going into these into these life paths. And uh, we see this um, at the university and fewer and fewer students coming to the College of Natural Sciences, for example, where I'm dean, um, prepared or even interested in, in taking science towards a, a career as a professional scientist. It is really exciting to think that as a teacher, you're training a student that will go on to make a huge discovery, it will be a Nobel laureate or whatever, and, and that happens. And you can see it sometimes. Um, so that's a, that's a very rewarding thing, but it's also rewarding to know that you're teaching somebody that, also, that wants to go on and be a teacher and is gonna, going to continue what you've been doing. But you know, it's, it's almost equally as rewarding as, as a teacher to train someone who's going to be a legislator, but will know enough about science to make the right decisions. I mean, that's another thing that a, a very good math or science teacher can do, is just to teach people who aren't going to be professionals the value and the real challenges of this kind of work.